was and then Tewaza anyway when she was using her hips and uh, let's uh, let's stay in this mat for a bit and have a look at Chi from China versus uh, Odette Gori Frida from Italy Italian in blue Chinese in white Oh, and Blue almost caught her with Daishi Barai there. Yeah. Yeah, she she was losing her own balance, and that was unfortunate, because if she had maintained it, I think she could have gotten that. It's interesting with the, the Chinese woman, of course. They put a lot of effort, I think, into... Beijing in preparation towards that. Right. And you haven't seen them as strong since. It's maybe an impression I have, but maybe they, there's a lot of effort into that and now they're rebuilding. I was going to say, maybe it's just a part of the growth phase. You know, they're going for a phase. They peaked yep. for Beijing. Yep. And I don't remember much fe featuring the Chinese at London and the woman. I don't, I don't recall it either. Yeah. Because the strength in Chinese judo has always been woman-based right. rather than the males. So. Well, recently that's been the case with Japan as well. Yeah, it's true. In the case of Korea, I think still the men are a little bit more dominant. So no scores and no penalties thus far. I was just thinking that. We have finally got a fight where there hasn't been a deluge of penalties at the start. So, But usually as soon as I say that, something's going to go up. Yeah. The Italian seeing if she can work some newaza, but pretty effective job of white of curling there, trying up avoiding those attacks. Matsuguru is cheering on, but I can't recall who they would be pulling for here. Maybe the Argentinian Glauco, perhaps? So here we have the uh, clash of two styles. You see the Chinese woman's waiting to get the grip and the opportunity, and um, the Israeli uh, Italian. Italian, rather, is uh, not letting them get anywhere with it. So what we see is activity from blue, but not a lot of meaning to it. But enough to induce a penalty in her opponent. There you go. Ooh, another day I should put it. I like that combination there. She went for the sweep. The Chinese opened up that room, and then she came with the Sayanage. Yeah. That was a really nice combination. Right. Just execution-wise, a little bit. Yeah. I think if she had turned it more, been a little bit deeper, that Sayanage would have scored herself at least a Yuko, possibly more. Oh, and another good look there, Dash, but I didn't have a grip there, so she couldn't do much with it. Chinese trying to work. Well, she, she's actually at the stage now where she knows that she can't keep doing what she's doing because the Italians actually suck her in a bit. That's so right. Well, she's got, got to two start, penalties, right? She's got to start making the play. Yep.
Boy, I'd like to see that uh, Ashiwaza. There she goes again. A little less effective there, but she really had a golden opportunity that in that prior one. So open up the Chinese is like this. Ah. Uh. And is often the case when the referee asks them to tidy up their their gi. You see a, a call here? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. But you're right. Sometimes it's a sign. I would say this momentum has changed this match in terms of attacks. White is much more aggressive now. And well, no, she knows she has to do it. So. Yeah. Um, here no no so blue's getting a little bit of extra time here well that's what i'm saying about the you know like he can stop that because it's not going to yes. go anywhere <laughs> no i mean she didn't really have a grip i that collar at the most is no. on the chin right yeah, exactly. Led to something. It looks a little bit more pull, and uh, she might have got over. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Hmm. And that's it. That's it. It's not a particularly attractive not match. Not a very good one at all. where we want to go now. I don't mind seeing this, uh, the Mongolian-Israeli match here. Yeah, we'll stay there. We'll stay here and then uh, see if we can zip down at three and see uh, Ibi Numa versus uh, Valderrama of Venezuela. But we're going to stick on mat number one here. And this is going to be uh, Adi Azambu of Mongolia versus Cohen from Israel. 